Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks once more and I've got a really cool project to share with you. Uh, just finished it up, we just had it in the pool a few days ago for a very successful maiden voyage. 196th Albacore, what a unique boat, I'm excited to share it with you. All right, let's take a look at this boat. Now, the Albacore um, is actually a, a really unique boat in that uh, in the history of uh, you know submarine development in the United States is exceptionally important because they tested a lot of different configurations of the boat in an effort uh, to increase the efficiency of U.S. submarines. Uh, one of the first boats to employ this teardrop hull shape. Now, this particular boat is modeled. Uh, after the phase four variant and the way that you'd be able to tell that is the lack of uh, forward dive planes the uh, dorsal sail that you can see up in the top there and the rear configuration which is uh, X tails and dual contra rotating propellers so this is the uh, the last final version of the albacore out there a little bit of history behind this uh, model kit uh, itself 196 scale uh, it's about 25 inches in overall length you can see it's exceptionally tiny uh, obviously very easy to handle transport launch and retrieve but it does make implementation of the running gear somewhat problematic uh, so I would not recommend this for any sort of beginning RC submariners out there this kit I believe was produced by David Merriman the third up in Virginia Beach there and it's absolutely gorgeous. It can show you some of the hull details there, the scribed details. Absolutely beautiful, uh, a gorgeous little boat. Um, this one is sold uh, and as I mentioned it is going to the new owner here hopefully today after we do this video. Uh, but before I send it out I want to show you how the internals are set up uh, I know you're going to be super excited to see the uh, contra rotating gearbox in the back there. Other thing that I want to mention is that when I got this boat, it was partially built by a very talented modder, uh, modeler out of Australia by the name of Scott Terry. So can't take all the credit uh, for the boat. The, the cylinder was there. The, the hull was basically there. Um, just a lot of tweaking uh, and experimentation to get everything fitting uh, and working flawlessly. So, hey. Let's get into the installation of the cylinder and how things look inside the boat. So hey, I'm pretty excited because this is actually the first opportunity that uh, we've had here to uh, try out our new mounting rig uh, up above the uh, work table there. So um, let's take a look at some things individually here. We're gonna set this hull uh, aside there for one minute. I wanna show you the watertight cylinder. So this is a, uh, a two inch outside diameter twin shaft watertight cylinder um, put out by David Merriman uh, formerly marketed through the Nautilus dry docks uh, unfortunately this is out of production uh, right now so this is sort of a, a rare bird let's start at the um, beginning here at the at the start battery compartment you can see inside they got a little green light in there and that is the remote on off switch module and then we've got a uh, lithium polymer battery pack in there. That's a 2S lithium polymer battery pack. And then we've got our ballast tank. Now this particular boat is set up as what they call a snort ballast system. So um, it pulls air from the surface via an air pump and blows it into the ballast tank. So you can see the vent here up in the top, holes in the bottom to allow the water in and out and then uh, the intake for the air that gets blown into the cylinder. Uh, moving into the back there, there's a lot of uh, stuff. You can see a, a very beautiful, very expensive, uh, low frequency 75 megahertz receiver. Two servos, one for the, um, each side of the, of the X tail uh, rudder assembly. We have a ballast servo uh, in the front there. We got air pump. We have a battery eliminator in there and the uh, electronic speed controller. Now this is one of the uh, earlier 
version so you can see in here how that pump is actually activated there's a little micro switch and as the ballast servo moves back it depresses that switch and turns the pump on so that's how that ballast system works and what the um, cylinder itself looks like um, the other thing of note here is that the receiver wire is run out this flexible silicone hose that allows you to stretch it out entirely the length of the boat uh, and also allows you to dunk the cylinder blow into the tube and test for leaks that's one modification that i recommend for anybody with a removable watertight cylinder or even if it's not removable you can dunk your boat blow in and look for uh, bubbles before you get to the pond so um, other thing of note this uh, it comes with a, uh, a six channel vex radio uh, looks just like this and those are the remote key fobs that turn the model on and off so no fumbling about you know opening and closing the model in order to turn it on and off access to the model is uh, super easy. Just pop the stainless bolt out of the back there, kind of give it a lift up and slide it forwards. So this is what the uh, inside of the boat looks like. And before we go any further, I want to show you the uh, the inside of the hull. Now uh, we've got a bunch of lead and foam hiding up in the uh, front of the bow section there. And uh, this foam um, is contoured to perfectly fit around the watertight cylinder. Now, one of the biggest challenges with this boat is there is very little annular space. You can see it's just a little bit over a quarter of an inch in thickness. And so it was very important to get as much foam as possible in here um, without it impacting the uh, area or volume that the cylinder takes up and without going above the surfaced waterline. So that is all very important and uh, what it looks like underneath there. Uh, the only other thing of importance is uh, you can see this periscope right here and this slides uh, you know, in and out and uh, so it is removable. But the, um, there we go. On the inside you can see there's just kind of like a little nipple on the inside there and that is what the uh, air intake hose connects to. So we're just going to set that aside for right now. Um, the installation of the watertight cylinder is a little bit fun and uh, the reason for that is, I'm going to grab my little clips here and make your life pain when you're trying to install the cylinder. So I usually just kind of clip them off to the side like that. Um, but the, the real challenge with this is that we've got dual shafts uh, coming out. So now's a good opportunity to show you that gearbox. So you've got uh, two shafts connected with like universal joints to the, the cylinder. Um, this one here on the outside, outboard side, spins the inboard prop there. And the other one spins the, uh, the outboard prop. So um, obviously they spin independently and in different directions and that basically means that you won't get that torque induced roll of the boat that you would see uh, with almost any other modern uh, submarine that has a single screw. So this just shoots forward like a torpedo, literally like a torpedo, and uh, it doesn't heel over like you would see um, with a, a traditional single screw boat. Now um, back to the installation here. This is a, a, a little bit fun and, and challenging. There's a little pin up in the front right here where my finger is and a hole in the bottom of the ballast tank. So um, that's what we're going to be shooting for when we um, ultimately get it nested in place. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of wiggle the first shaft into place and the second one twisting those dog bones to a line. There you go. Man, I'm impressed that I did that. And these um, magnetic linkages just snap right in place. So that's what it looks like when it's all set in place. It's locked, won't slide forward and backward. And now all we need to do is unclip our Velcro. Make sure that this hose is in the middle so it doesn't interfere with all of that foam. 
Actually, this one goes under that as well. So both of these hoses get trapped underneath that Velcro. And that keeps it centralized and out of the way of the, uh, the foam when you go to put the uh, upper hull on. Now this free hose here is the one that connects to the uh, mast, to that uh, air intake. And then your antenna typically just gets rolled up inside and tucked under the cylinder so that it doesn't interfere with your flotation foam. All right, so I've got the boat uh, now with the upper hull off and the snorkel disconnected. I just wanted to show you guys what uh, this rear control area looks like under operation because it is really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna turn this up towards you so you can see that X-tail. Um, this is it in dive and in surface. And then, uh, you know, turning to the port and starboard. Um, it's just really neat to watch this boat, you know, working. And as you'll see uh, in the pool footage, um, this thing goes like a rocket and turns on a dime. Like, absolutely incredible. Um, let's show you that gearbox in action here now. Uh, it's nice and smooth. Pop props are spinning in different directions there. It's forward, reverse. That is it. So uh, basically we bench tested this before we go to the pond. Now all we need to do is hook up the uh, snorkel intake for the ballast system, pop the top on, and we're ready to go to the pond. Well, there you have it, everyone. A really brief overview about this really cool 96 scale Albacore. Uh, U.S. submarine in phase four configuration. Uh, I had a great time building it. It was a little frustrating at times. I am a big sub guy myself and working on teensy tiny cylinders uh, like this can prove to be somewhat problematic for me and my patients, but I'm glad that we persevered here at the dry docks and got this boat uh, not only working, but working perfectly. Uh, what a fun boat to drive. Uh, speaking of that, we're going to get right into some pool testing. i uh, show you what this thing looks like on and under the water at my pool. But before I let you go to do that, uh, please, please, if you like what you see here on, on my channel, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. It helps me out immensely. Appreciate your help. Um, I'll sign off now, pass you over to the pool footage. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDucks.com. Thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time.